Whew, welcome back. This is episode uh, eight. We're going to be unboxing uh, boxes 11 and 12 today. Um, I have no idea what I'm going to find. I keep trying to predict it. Like I get ready for these things. I'm like, oh, maybe if I find this, maybe if I... And then I go in and just, I'm just stunned by what I see. Old stuff from the 40s and 50s. Entire runs of Spider-Man. Finding uh, <laughs> just so much interesting stuff. Finding, finding some of these really weird um, independent press kind of stuff. Um, like even I've done, you know, done some research on some of the ones from earlier episodes. I can't even find them anywhere. Some of them, they're just these off the wall things that are put out. And, um, so it's, so it's kind of crazy looking at them and finding them. So listen, if you guys are enjoying this as much as I am, and I'm having a ball here, uh, do me a favor and like, and subscribe and share and most importantly, please drop me a comment below. If you see something that I don't see, um, if you have information about com a comic book or a series of comic books that I have nothing about, a press, a publishing company that I don't know anything about, if you know something about one of these independent comic books that's just completely off the wall, if you have any information about those, I'd love to have it because uh, some of those are really hard to find. Um, so I'm always looking for more information and more research if, if you can help me out i'd appreciate it in the meantime we're doing boxes 11 and 12 today and then after that we will have 14 boxes so i guess seven more episodes after that and if this is episode eight that i guess that means we're gonna have uh, 15 episodes wow i wasn't expecting to do that many but uh i don't care i'm having fall i'm, I'm having fun i'm having a ball so a fall bun whatever <laughs> i hope you guys are too uh stick around let's get this party started okay this is uh this is gonna be a good box i can tell because i got i can see stuff that i recognize and i see stuff that i have no clue what it is um a little spoiler alert league of extraordinary gentlemen coming up airboy coming up uh that's just what's on top of the stacks that i pulled out and laid out here uh, so let's get started. Okay, first one here is Abad, Abad, Abadazad, Abadad, Abadazad, Abadazad, number one from Cross Gen 2004. This is number two. Number three, I love these covers. Uh, okay, this is uh, Abiding Perdition, number one. From APC. Uh, Eyes Only Comics Above Top Secret Comics, number one. Featuring the collected artwork of Wes Crum. Never heard of these things, man. They're so off. Lone Star Press, number one, Ace of Diamonds. The Distant Soil. From Area Press, number three. Seen a few others of those pop up, so it's been around. Number four. Number eight. Adrenaline, number three, from Image. Number four. This is, oh, I see, Adrenaline Weapon of War. Looks kind of Cyrillic, so it might be Russian or something, oh, like Russian set. The Adventurers, number one from Air Cell. Uh, Adventurers, number one from Adventure Publications. Uh, here's Air Cell. Adventure is number two. And Adventure Publications number three. I don't know what's going on here. It's bouncing back and forth between Air Cell and Adventure Publications. So Adventure Adventurers Book Two Regular Number One. Uh two oh okay, so it's a variant cover, it looks like. Book two number one as well. This is uh, 
number two, number five, number eight, number eight again. America Comics Group number 118, Adventures into the Unknown. That's an old book there, man. That's 10 cents. That stickers on the outside. Thank goodness. Number 126. What number was this? 118, okay. 126. 132. 135, 142, 143, 145, 149, 161, 163, 165, wow, just so many of these, this is awesome, 167, 170, 173, 174, 174. Uh, okay, The Adventures of Big Boy, a gift for young guests of Kip's Big Boy Family Restaurants, number 358. Wow. This was published, uh, doesn't say. Number 290, 25th year. Wow. 25 cents free to guests. <laughs> This one's from 1998. Dolly V interviews the Man of Steel. Okay, this is Dark Horse, The Adventures of Luther Arkwright, number two of nine. Number four. Heart of Empire, The Legacy of Luther Arkwright, chapter two. Chapter 3, Chapter 4, Eon Flux from Dark Horse number 1, After Time, Warrior Nun Day number 1, number 2, Okay, Airboy Comics, May 1949, 10 cents, a Hillman publication. Fifty two pages. Doesn't have a number on it. Here it is, December 1949. Oh, this was a Mylar cover. January 1951. Eclipse Comics, Airboy number one. Number two. Uh, number three. 
three. Number five. Number five again. Number six. Number seven. Number eight. Number nine. Number ten. Number eleven. Number twelve. Number thirteen. Number fourteen. Number fifteen. Number sixteen. Number seventeen. Number eighteen. Number nineteen. Looks like Master Splinter, doesn't it? <laughs> Number twenty. Twenty one. Twenty one again. Twenty two. Twenty three. This is number 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 30 again, 31, 32, 33, 33 again, now monthly, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. Looks we finally skip looks like a full run up looks like a full run up to 45. I have to double check that, but I think that was a full run to 45. Then it misses 46 and goes to 47. 48. 49. 50. Airboy meets the prowler number one. Airboy, Airboy and Mr. Monster, number one. Airboy, Airboy, <laughs> Airboy versus the Air Maidens, number one. Airboy Comics Interview, number 57. Air Fighter Classics, volume number one, The Origin of Airboy. Two Air Fighter Classics. Air Fighters Meet Sergeant Strike number one. Target Airboy. I don't know why I can't say his name. Target Airboy number one. Air Maiden Special number one. Valkyrie, number one of three. Number two of three. Number three of three. Valkyrie, Prisoners of the Past. That's, a, that's like a TPB. 
trade paper back. All right, this is Alien Encounters number one from Eclipse. Number two. Copy. Number three. Number four. Number five. Number six. Love that. Number seven. Number eight. Number nine. Alien Fire from Kitchen Sink Comics, number one. Alien Worlds, number one from PC. Two of them. Alien Worlds, number two. Number three. Number five. Number six. Number seven. Number nine. Uh, don't see a number on it. Oh, tra okay, it's a trade paperback. Alien Worlds TPB. From 1987. Innovation All Hollows Eve trade paperback. Albion, one of six. Alan Moore from Wildstorm. Number two. These are bonus comic book. Alan Moore's new superhero universe. Anything goes. Number two. Alan Moore's The Courtyard. This is a trade paperback. Alan Moore's Courtyard Companion from Avatar. Not familiar with that at all. Oh, From Hell. Cool. Eddie Moore and, I mean, Alan Moore and Eddie Campbell. This is a volume, From Hell, volume one. This was uh, adapted, of course, by the movie that had Johnny Depp in it about the uh, Jack the Ripper. And this is volume three. Volume four. Volume five. Volume six, volume seven, volume eight, volume ten. So it's so it's uh, I believe it's sixteen parts, but they're missing. Two, nine, and everything after ten. Alan Moore's Glory. Issue two. Alan Moore's Hypothetical Lizard. Issue two. Alan Moore's Magic Worlds. Words, Magic Words. Volume one, trade paperback. And we're not done with Alan Moore because here's number one of brand new picture paper. The League of Extraordinary Gentlemen from America's Best Comics. Volume one, number one of six. Volume one, number two. Oh, I like that Captain Nemo better. This is number three. 
these are all mylar or the heavy the heavy weight um, bags and backs too number four number five and number six sweet got all six of them Here's volume two, number one. Volume two, number two. Volume two, number three. Volume two, number four. Volume two, number five. Volume two, number six. of number six. The League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, parts one and two. Bumper Compendium. The League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, volume one, trade paperback. Graphic novel, really. That's awesome. That's the full volume one, volume two runs with the graphic novel. Heroes and Monsters by Jess Nevins, an unofficial companion to League of Extraordinary Gentlemen graphic novel. Promethea, number one from America's Best Comics. Promethea, August 1999, number one. I don't know if that's a variant. Number two. Number three. Number four. Number five. Number six, Promethea number seven, number nine, number ten, number thirteen, number eighteen, number nineteen, number twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 25. This is the Promethea Book One graphic novel. Max the Adventurer, number two. Saga of the Swamp Thing, number nine. Number 19 with a sticker. 29. Thirty, forty-two, forty-three, forty-seven, forty-eight. I'm sitting here wondering why Swamp Thing is in with the A's, and then I realized that Alan Moore did this run in here, or did a bunch of these apparently, so a huge Alan Moore collection in this box, which is just insane. 48. Uh, 
54. Fifty nine with a sticker and brand new format special price swamp thing number sixty. Wow, what a nuts box! Just crazy. Like, so that entire Alan Moore collection which is just insane. That entire run of League of uh, Extraordinary Gentlemen, uh, Volume 1, 136, Volume 2, 136, the graphic novel, plus all the other Alan Moore uh, books that were in here. Alien, um, a the Alien Encounters, uh, Alien Worlds, um, Airboy, the, um, almost an entire Airboy run, except for like that one issue, I think. Um, and just... Wow, just a bunch of crazy stuff in here. Stuff I've never heard of too. Uh, the Adventurers, which I'd never heard of. Um, the Luther Arkwright from Dark Horse, which I wasn't familiar with at all. Um, Promethea, not familiar with that. Uh, so just a lot of new stuff in here that I've never seen before. Of course, I'm familiar with League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. I never read the books, but I did see the movie. Um, but I never got around to reading any of the books. Uh, so it's cool to see that. Seeing the Alien Encounters um, run in here and then seeing the Alien Worlds in here. The From Hell collection, which I wish had been a little bit more complete, but still seeing those early books in there was really cool. So, uh, impressive book. I mean, pretty impressive. Um, number Box number 11, definitely a hit. So, uh, let's do box 12. Okay. Okay, this is box 12, all right, box 12. Box 12 is gonna be, first of all, spoiler, Conan, lots of Conan. Uh, but up front, we got this book right here. This is the actual full graphic novel of From Hell. So that's pretty cool. So that's pretty neat. Not in great shape, but pretty good. Anyways, worth keeping for sure. And then this hardcover, the Adventure Annual. To Ray McCartan from Charlie, Xmas 1954. So this is pretty okay. So it's a so it's a book. Oh, and a comic book. So it's got both in it. So it's a storybook. Is basically what it is. Illustrated storybook. Anyway, pretty cool. Adventure Annual, nineteen fifty four. Uh, before I get started on the stuff that's bagged and backed, got some more unprotected stuff in here, and it's bad shape, obviously. Mud daubers got in here, so it's got that on it. That's not good. That's trash. Thanks a lot. Appreciate that. Anyway, not gonna great. Not gonna great. It was abandoned. It was abandoned for a reason. So my treasure, our treasure. How about that? <laughs> All right. So this is. The uh, Eric, Son of Thunder from DC, number, Son of Thunder, uh, number 19, number 20, 21, 22, what year was this? 1983, number 24. That is special. Novel length, second anniversary, spectacular. Number 24. Son of Thunder, number 26. 27. 28. 29. 30. 33. 34. 35. 
36, 37, 38, 39, Alley Cat, number four from Image, Damage Spines from that new dog, part one, number five, number six, Battlestar Galactica Season Zero was a sticker. All these really not great shape because of the damage to the spines. You can probably see them. Number one, Painkiller Jane, number three. What was that number one? Oh, Battlestar Galactica Origins, number one. Painkiller Jane, number three. Poison Elves number two from Sirius. Grim Fairy Tales number 25. Elfheim number four. Battlestar Galactica season zero number one. Battlestar Galactica season zero number one. Brath number 14. Cross Gen number three, Blue Beetle number two, Blue Beetle number one, nineteen, what was it? Eighty six, no, eighty eight. Eighty six, nineteen eighty six. It looks like either eighty six or eighty eight. Hard to tell. Bell Star number one from Moonstone. Boston Bombers number four. Celestial Mechanics number three. Bad Axe <laughs> number three. Ballad of Utopia, number seven. Oh, we saw those in, uh, was that last episode? Uh, Atlas Comics, The Destructor, number three. Femme Force, number 77. E-Man, number 15. Some, a lot of these we've seen before. In much better condition. Number 21, Elf Lord number two. All right, Harrier Comics presents Red Fox number six. Ghostly Tales number 85 for Charlton. Number 90. Number 96. I think we've seen a bunch of these somewhere else. I think those were Ghostly Tales from the Haunted House. So I don't know why these are in a separate place, but this was Ghostly Tales number 96, number 99, 101, Seen that one before. One eleven. One thirteen. One twenty one. All new ghostly tales. All new ghostly tales. Number twenty one twenty one. 22. Peter Pan and the Warlords of Oz, Deadhead Water. <laughs> Hand of Doom Publications. I don't see a number on it. Oh, 
you got Peter Pan, the Warlords of Oz, number one. First edition, E-Man, number one, from Charlton. Somebody wrote something on there. Nineteen seventy three folded cover number five, number seven, number nine. Keep the people why stop writing on here, man. Stop writing on your comic books. Number ten, number ten again. Distant Soil, number 11 from Area Press. Blue Beetle, Total Eclipso, number 16. Bonsai Girls, number 4 from Arcana. After, After Time, Warrior Nun Day, number 3 of 3 for the sticker. Battlestar Galactica number 14 sticker. Innovation number 9, Queen of the Damned. Anne Rice's Queen of the Damned. Number 9, yeah. Gold Key, Ripley's Believe It or Not. Eric Son of Thunder, number 18. Conan the Barbarian, number 8. This is interesting. Okay, so this is... This is number 10. It has a 30 cent sticker put over it. It says 25 cents on the spine. You see a spine. Looks like it. Oh, it's a non stapled spine. Okay. It said 25, but there's a 30 cent sticker on it. It's number 10, but it's going in the Barbarian. So I don't know what that's all about. Number 31. 33. I love that this guy loved Conan so much. 73. 81. I remember that cover. 1977. 1984. I mean, not 19. Number 84. Sorry. So Conan the Barbarian, number... Conan the Barbarian, 84. 87. 90. 91. 92. 93. Bellet. 96. 97. 98. 100. Awesome. I actually remember that cover. I didn't know it was number 100. 1979. 104. The Snout in the Dark. <laughs> 107. 113. 114. 
115, 126, 130, 133, 134, 135, 136, 136 again, 137, 138, 139, 140, 141. One forty five, one forty six, one forty seven, one forty eight, one forty nine, one fifty two, ten down one one fifty. 153, 154, 156, 157, 159, 165, 165 again with a sticker. 66, 167, great cover, 168, 169, 170, 171, 172, 172 again, 172 again, <laughs> 173, 174, 175, 176, 177, 177 again, 178, 179, 180, 181, another issue, 182, Ah, I'm surprised he broke the streak here with all these direct issues. I thought he was getting them pulled. 184. Ah, there it is. 183. Okay, just backwards. All right, so 183. 184. 184 again. 185. Again. 186. Great cover. One eighty six again. I love these cars. I love the Conan covers, man. They just are so dynamic sometimes. Sometimes they fall a little short, but so many, more often than not, you're always going to get a great dynamic cover when you get a Conan cover. They just knew how to draw that character so well and put him in great situations. See what I mean? 
That's just awesome. 187. Awesome cover. Got them by the tusk. That's so great. Another 197 Red Sonia 198 with almost thought that guy looked like Death Dealer, but no 198 199. They try to make him look like it. Please have 200. Please have 200. There we go. 200. Two oh one, two oh five, two fifty seven. Ooh, big jump there. Two sixty one, see now you entered the now you entered the modern era. Now you start start getting these uh, more modern covers on there. Those are classics. 266. Annual number 9. Annual number 11. With Iron Fist? <laughs> That'd be funny. Conan, you know, oh, official handbook of the Conan universe number 1. Cool, I didn't know they did that. Giant size annual number 10. That's awesome. King Conan number one, March 1979. Nice. Then we, we already did a bunch of King Conans, didn't we? Maybe that was Conan the King? Was it two separate? Oh, wow. Number 18. Number 18. Conan the King 26. Yeah, 27. So I'm going to have to. Find out, find that other box and put these in with it. 28. 28 with a sticker. Another 28. 29. Sticker. Water damage in there too. 29 clean. Really clean. That's a really great copy. 30. Thirty again. Thirty again. Thirty-one. It's crazy. There's so many duplicate copies in there. Thirty-two. Thirty-three. Thirty-four. Thirty-five with the sticker. Thirty-five clean. Thirty-six. 37, 38, 39, 40, Conan the King 41, 45 with a sticker, Conan Destroyer number one, Conan Destroyer number two. Sweet. Wow. Well, I'm not going to complain about that box at all. I love Conan and seeing all that Conan is just awesome. I love it. So that was a great box. Just a 
Especially his early Conan's, man. Just so great. What'd you think? Hope you like that. Um, so yeah, that's box 11 and box 12 in this episode. Um, so we're going to leave it there and start box 13 in the next episode. Yeah. So anyway, thank y'all for being here. Appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you saw anything spectacular and I have anything to say, please drop me a comment below. I'd really appreciate it. I'd love to hear what you have to say about it. So keep them coming. Um, in the meantime, please make sure you like, hit that like button for me. Hit subscribe if you have not already. And definitely share this video with all your comic book buddies and collectors. Uh, I'd love to get the feedback from them too. In the meantime, y'all have a good one. I'll see you next time.